Okay, so welcome back. We're now going to go and test this uh, load player data script that we've written. I'm, well, I'll remove this and save that. So when we uh, refresh, we should get three empty uh, character boxes. But upon refreshing, we actually get four. Now, the reason being is because uh, the character count equals zero because there's no um, characters being selected because there isn't any any available. So, when it comes down to this for each, uh, no, this for loop, x equals zero, and while x is equal uh, less than or equal to three, then we run this loop. Now, for each iteration of x with an increment of one, there's going to actually be four until it reaches three. So we need to um, run another if statement, and if the count character is equal to zero then we're just going to boost this count character up to one so now when we come back over to this and refresh it we're only left with three empty spaces <coughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert a character into the table, and then we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll see the effect of characters actually being loaded into the um, page. Okay, so I've added a player. Uh, it's got a character ID of one. Uh, that's because it's been auto incremented. We've got an account ID of one, which is my account. I've given the character name of Tourniquet. Uh, its class is 1, <coughs> its gender is 0, level 10, and I've given it the creation date of now. Or <laughs> I say now, it's the time, it's the timestamp of when I looked at the, I, I found it, if that makes any sense. So now, when we refresh, this first <coughs> box here should be um, populated with that player, that character's details, and then we're following on <coughs> with three extra boxes. Okay, so you can see that this has worked as it is meant to. It's filled out my character details. So now we'll look into why it's generating one too many boxes. Okay. Now the reason it's um, producing too many boxes is because I've got here is less than or equal to um, three. <coughs> um, so I'll try to explain on why it it needs to be just less than. Okay, so. When we count it, when we get in the character count, we're setting it um, to equal the number of rows returned. And if that number of rows returned is one, then it's going to go through each. Uh, iteration of X until it hits 3 so in theory it, it will still run three times and produce one too many boxes if we have two characters in that will equal 2 so it will go, th go over 2 and then 3 producing two extra boxes uh, uh, still producing the one extra box so we should be able to get rid of this and if we move that to is less than 3 when we re refresh 
we're left with two empty boxes and one filled box. We just come over to here and change the account ID so this character no longer belongs to me and we refresh we should just get three empty boxes. So that's that little problem solved. Right so the next thing we're going to look at is actually creating a character. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put an input button with a value of create new character and this is on the um, empty divs so when we refresh we get a nice little button come up saying create a new character and we'll just bung these in some center tags just to center it up okay so when we click this button we're going to get a nice little pop-up just like in all the uh, in the uh, login and registration forms and it's going to ask us to fill in some details to create the new character okay so in order to be able to generate these pop-up boxes we're going to use um, we're going to be loading in some external PHP scripts through jQuery. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up a basic character creation form. So if we start off a new um, PHP script <coughs> we can get rid of all this, we don't need that. and I'm just going to put together a quick um, box okay so as you can see here I've now created the character creation form we have up here we've got our character name um, followed by a class currently I've got three classes we've got a fighter, medic and sharpshooter um, below that uh, list the stats and we've also got points to spend. Now these are modification points uh, for stats. We have our health um, followed by what will be points modifier. We've then got accuracy, dexterity, might, resistance, focus and insight. And that covers all the stats except luck. We're not going to make... Uh, luck will be a, a fixed fixed stat which raises through um, equipment and leveling so this is in my create dash character character dash box dot php so the next thing we're going to do oh I've saved this by the way in a folder called plugin and inside that plugin folder I've got a create character folder which is going to hold all my plugins for the create ca uh, the create character page <coughs> so the next thing we want to do is we want to work on some jQuery to make this form appear <coughs> so if we open up our script tags and we start off with a function of load plugin and it's going to hold a variable of x so we're going to target the ID of body and we're going to use um, the before function and inside of here we're going to fill it with an empty div with an ID of plugin and then below that 
we will target the plugin div and we will load and this is where we're going to use the URL so we're going to load the script uh, the plugin folder plus X so now if we come over to the load player data page down here on the input button we're just going to do an on click event of load plugin and then we've got to escape our double quotes and we're going to say it's create character folder followed by the create character box.php so over on our create a character um, on the our CSS under the create character um, styling I'm just going to set the display to none and back over on the character.php page where we've got that load function I'm just going to do put a fade in of slow so now if we go over to here and refresh and when we create click the create new character button we should have that box load up for us okay so that didn't work we'll remove that from there and we will just create a quick ID of plugin and have this display done okay because I'm targeting the plugin div so now when we create, create cl click create a new character we get that box load, uh, fade in and then we're good to go for creating the character so join me back in the next video and we'll start working with closing the box off and actually editing and creating our character.